when people make things look effortless, that's when you know they're really good, you know, when they make it look easy. Oh, she's so intense. The greatest classical guitar player in the world. <laughs> Sharon's father promised her that if she practiced guitar for an hour, she could go outside and launch her model rockets. When I first heard Sharon, I was blown away by things she could do that I had never heard another guitarist do. She's always the face of classical guitar these days. There's thousands of little girls out there who've seen Sharon who now know that that's open to them. That's huge. As a guitarist, I was always aware that it was an instrument that had to catch up. It was newer in the world. We didn't have Chopin, we Mozart, Beethoven. I always felt like I want more. I want more to play. Sharon must have come over to me at a party and said, Hi, I'm Sharon Esmond, I want a concerto. What I said was, would you consider writing a piece for me? And he said, I'm a little busy right now, call me next year. She persisted. Year after year, after eight years. I know absolutely nothing about the guitar. I had good reason to say no. I said, how am I going to get this guy to write for me? so sad here. I suddenly thought, why not the French troubadours? I'll be the troubadour. Yeah. So I listened to troubadour music, and I found things about it that I could adopt into a set of variations, concerto. I like that zoom. So what, what do I think of when I do that? What, what is that coming from? That Whenever I'm working with a composer and they're writing something new I've never heard before, it's a, it's a gamble. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're even going to like it. So a whistle. Yeah. Tan Dunn said, I really like the idea of writing something that would combine the history of the Spanish guitar with the ancient Chinese lute or pipa. She never says no to me. I try whatever I want to try. Christopher Rouse teaches at Juilliard and is one of the leading composers of his generation, and I'm sure she tackled him in the hall and said, I'm not letting you up until you write me a concerto. Well, one of the things I remember asking you to do was to write something that had not only virtuosity, but something that would be really, really beautiful and meltingly lyrical. I'm really proud when I can say I've done this concerto by Chris almost 60 times. It's really great to be able to give birth to something and nurture it through its lifetime. If you should Google the words classical guitar female, one name, Sharon Isbin. She's here with us tonight. You know, there's, there's always a duality with this instrument and being a woman playing it. In the guitar world, I always had to fight as a woman, and in the music world, I always had to fight as a guitarist. <laughs>